How easy is it to build a gaming PC from scratch? Maybe not from scratch, but you know, I'm not like soldering all the parts together. But um, including the VR system back there, yeah, I kind of just pick some parts and uh, hopefully it works out. Let's see what these things can do. Okay, about two hours later, you can see me in the background there. I got everything all put in there. Hopefully, I did things right. Um, I kind of just found connections that needed to be connected and connected it so we're gonna plug it in and see if it works hopefully this isn't a huge mistake okay two things <clears throat> I got it running another thing is it's loud as hell and it's continuous so I don't know if that'll cool down or not and I got to figure this stuff out but uh, we're good to go we got an image it's running and I just got to find a battery for this mouse this annoyingly should be the last thing I need I just got back from Best Buy. This is the next day. I tried all night to get Windows 10 on the damn PC build, but uh, nothing I tried worked. So if this doesn't work, I'm a failure. Hopefully put that in right. That's the first time this system has been christened with the Windows. <laughs> yeah, yep, 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 yep. Well, success. We built our first computer. And uh, I didn't use it like top quality parts. I use sort of mid-range kind of stuff, but uh, we're gonna get this set up and uh, we'll get the Oculus running. I don't know how to do that just yet, but I'm sure that'll be a nightmare like everything else is on PC. It's a little bit laggy, like like you're seeing it kind of like like stutter occasionally, and that's because um, I'm, I'm recording gameplay. Normally it's really smooth, so but just just know that so so I can grab my gun if I let go of the button I can drop my gun oh, I need to pick up my fucking heroin needle okay so um, yeah it's just, just like um, handling in real life you know if I want to like give, give extra support to the the gun for recoil management you know I, I, I have to grab it with my other hand you know like um, and as soon as I let go of the button it lets go. I can set it to where uh, it, it, it just like latches on, or even if I just raise my hand up, it'll, it'll latch to it. But uh, okay, let's let's say here uh, we're just gonna shoot something. Um, so one-handed, you have to kind of wait for the recoil to, to re reset. Two-handed, you can kind of keep on target a little bit more. Okay, so I'm out. So I drop my mag, put it in a new magazine, and then. Uh, you know, rack the slide, and then I'm good to go again. So I can also, uh, very stupidly, you know, if, you, if you're like, oh shit, did I, did I, did I ever uh, load around? You can do that, and then now, oh. actually, wait. okay, now it shows empty. Yeah. So yeah, drop the mag. Wait, oh, shit. So, um, I mean, I can also pick these mags up, and I can throw them. I mean, the, it, it feels one to one with how how, how your uh, you know how, how my arm moved. I felt like that's the appropriate distance I should have thrown that. And I mean, you can throw things like like sideways. I mean, there's no limitations as to how how you can throw something. Um, so yeah, so you have full locomotion, and you notice on my hands. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here. But it, as, as um, it, it it just it just feels like it should, you know. Um, as soon as you touch certain buttons in games, like not I'm not even pressing these buttons, but it it'll, it'll actually uh, um, give me a different hand positioning. Like so, my thumbs are off right now. I don't know if you can see my thumbs, and I'm just grabbing these. As soon as I touch the buttons, not click them. If I click them. You know, that, that does something. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. If I click them, you know, it does something else. But it, it's it's that sensitive. So, I can flip my side up. And, uh, you know, I grab my forearm. Not my forearm. <laughs> so, with this gun, you actually have to, before you can even fire it, you have to um, load the rounds in. So, it's really cool. Anyway, let, let's get to some uh, shooting here. The only thing I kind of don't like about this game is... Is there's a little bit of wobbliness between the two controllers, and you can you can set smoothing on so it's uh, less wobbly. 
but um, it's just it's not as intuitive as it would be if this was like a solid object. You know, there's two different objects in my hand. You know, and and it's free floating, so it, you can get pretty close. And, and but I mean, it's just kind of odd. They have some options to like lock it to your shoulder and you know uh, different comfort options, but. We're not we're not gonna get like super deep into this. I, I just want to show you like like all the things you can do. I mean, let, let's say I oh shit. let's say I ran out of ammunition, you know, and I had no guns. I could throw my guns in the ground, all my grenades and whatever, and put my hands up, and you know I could literally surrender. Not like in a single player game, like where it's just AI, AI, but like in a multiplayer game, you know, they would be like, okay, well, let's not kill this guy. You know, um, it's very realistic in a lot of ways. So, let's uh, just, now I'm not sneaking around, but I mean, like, so you can see right now I'm running, right? Like, so if my, my gun's down, you know, if it's up, like, I start walking slower. I have it set to where I can just sprint by pushing forward on the stick rather than clicking the button. But, um, so yeah, so if it's, my gun's down, I can run. And then, I, I mean, I can get on the ground. I mean, I can, I can literally get prone and, and get on there. There's, uh, I can do my bipod and, and actually... Uh, get extra stability, you know, like, this, this game's amazing. Um, I'm not even scratching the surface in terms of what this game is capable of. The graphics, um, they have pretty good graphic settings to, to run this on a potato. Um, the graphic settings right now are, are, are set to kind of low. I have no, um, I don't even know how to pronounce it, AA anti-aliasing or aliasing. I don't know how to fucking pronounce it, but... Um, I'm familiar with the, the term and I've seen it a billion times, but I've never actually pronounced it in real in real life. I've never really talked about it with people. Um, you can see right now. Oh shit! Okay. You can see right now. Also, like when you hit your gun, you can feel it in the controller. Like if you hit it on, on a wall, you can kind of feel. Anyway, they should have like a sound too. I don't have a suppressor, so this guy's gonna. pistol here. So yeah, I, I wouldn't re oh there he is. Shot him. Oh here he said Jesus Christ <laughs> Anyway, I mean it's not really funny I killed those guys but um I mean it's a game. Anyway um so let's just uh, let's just light this guy up here. <laughs> okay, As, that, that was one of the, the the drawbacks of having free floating things. Like if I if I had shoulder it, I could get it on sight, and then that would have been much more accurate. But anyway, that's kind of the limitation of having two independent uh, controllers. Um, but they are, they do they do make attachments for it. Um, it kind of makes the rest of the game kind of difficult, though. But anyway, you can kind of see like like the just the capabilities of VR, like and, and how like one to one it is with with your movements, um, and, and it can only get better. So, like I said, that little bit of stutter is because I'm, I'm recording gameplay right now. So normally it would be like butter smooth. So let's get to a different game here. I think it's the one that. Uh, um, some some famous driver drives this. Um, he's actually he races for Subaru again, but I think he switched over to uh, another company for a little bit, like Ford. No, no, he, uh, Volkswagen, I think. Uh, what's his name? I can't think of it. Um, so the gravel physics in this are 100% like uh, made up, but it feels it feels appropriate. I mean, you can see I'm I'm able to oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm able to do what I want to do in terms of uh, handling the car, and it feels natural. Got to cut some corners here, but 
Like I play this this track all the time in Dirt Rally and Dirt Rally 2.0, and I was able to transfer everything I had learned about the tracks to this, which means whoever made this this course um, did a good job. Like this would be so much fun with like two, three, four, five, six, however many people like on the track at the same time. You know, let's do the, let's do the, the Joker. Joker almost feels faster than the normal normal fuck the normal corner. So I guess that that's that's the end of the video here. I think this gives an, ac an accurate representation of. The, the future possibilities and like once I get like certain things figured out like uh, you know graphic settings and just modifications I can do to the games themselves um, you know th this this experience will, will only continue to grow and you know expand my horizons on what I can do with these racing games these VR games and and just, just games in general I, I can hook up any controller I want to this PC and, and play you know console games too like uh, I'm not going to get into pirating games or anything like that, but that, I mean, that is a possibility. Um, it's a really open source system. Have a good day. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in a future video.